Hey Libra, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for November 29th to the 30th of 2021. All right, let's get into it with an Oracle card message for Libra. What is going on with my Libras in the next 48 hours, Spirit? What do they need to know for November 28th to the 29th of 2021? All right. <laughs> We have Crab Retreat. You could be dealing with a Cancer. Goblin Malice. I already know what this is. New Urgency. Overall is Nymph Promiscuity. So you're dodging someone's bullshit. Or it's, it's either someone around you has drama going on and you're not getting into it. Or there's someone coming to you with the bull and you're not feeding into it. Either way, you're dodging the bullshit. You're like, you're untouchable in the next 40 hours. You're not letting it bother you at all. You're staying in your energy. Because I feel like either there's someone, I, for some of you, there's someone around you who's um going through some drama, some he said, she said, childish stuff. And they brought it on themselves. Because what I'm getting with promiscuity, someone was purposely trying to stir the pot or flirt with someone who was clearly in a relationship or something like that. And it came back to bite them in the ass. And so now they're all hyped up and they want to involve you in it. And you're just like, no. Because with malice and urgency, someone's trying to rush you or get you like, make you feel like something's urgent or get you excitable or get you anxious or just get you um as worked up as they are. And they're trying to, that's usually people use urgency or quickness to like get someone worked up and anxious. When really it's not important at all. With retreat, you you pull out of the situation before it even start. Because you can see it coming from, from a mile away. And you don't even engage in it. Yeah. So, yeah, someone tries to come to you with some BS. Or someone could be trying to accuse you of something. And you just, you just pull away from it completely. Someone's trying to bait you into like some... And they're doing it for fun. Look at this person's face. They know that you don't deserve what, <laughs> what they're doing to you. Like someone's trying to either accuse you of something. And they know you didn't do anything. But they're trying to like point the finger at you. And they're trying to call you out and be like, well, you not responding is making you look even worse. So that just proves that I was right. And still don't respond. Don't feed into that. All right, so let's get to the tarot for Libra. November 29th to the 30th for Libra. What do they need to know for the next 48 hours of November 29th to the 30th of 2021? We have justice. There you are. And that's what I was saying. This first card was you too. Immediately pulling out of the situation. First card, come out justice. Your card, Libra. So you immediately pull out of the situation. I also get with that urgency. It's like instant karma. I keep getting that for these readings because it's like things are wrapping themselves up because of course it's the end of the year. So things are wrapping themselves up. Loose ends are being tied up. And if anything tries to, if anyone tries to start something now with you, it just gets like wrapped up and thrown out. Because like with that eclipse that just happened, all the loose ends have been tied up. People have been eclipsed out. So anybody trying to come in your life that's not on your level or is not like vibing where you are right now, it's just getting like wrapped up and thrown out. It's just getting thrown right back out. Like, nope, nope, go back. <laughs> go where you, we not on the same level. We have the hermit card, Virgo. Yep, you're definitely, you could be done with a Virgo, but with retreat. And I feel like it's karmic justice for you to do so. That's it. like, that's the karma for this person you not responding because this person is banking on you responding that's what they want out of this they're a literal troll and by you not responding that's instant karma because it's going to make them look stupid whether that's someone coming to you accusing you of something or someone trying to bring their drama to you yeah you just completely avoid it and then look tower they implode on themselves by you going inside following your own inner guidance staying still just not feeding into it staying solid they go through a tower they explode it all it falls down on them you not responding causing them a tower moment five of wands yes this person's trying to start conflict with you and it's like if you don't respond this person's going to try to blow the situation out of proportion let them 
let them because the whole situation is going to implode on itself because they're trying to make you feel like you need to do something now you need to clear the air now you need to correct yourself or correct something now and you don't need to overall you need to use the five of cups it's like no yes and i feel like this is someone who you used to be friends with maybe for some of you so it could be a little upsetting or disheartening but this person's putting on an active facade. They're acting like they're so hurt by this. And they're acting like, okay, you need to clear. I keep saying this, but it's like, they want you to clear the air now. And they're trying to tell you, if you don't, it makes you look bad. Or by you not responding, that just gives us all we need to know. Or that that's the truth right there. Don't feed into any of it. You don't need to clear your name. Let them look stupid. They may try to even involve other people in it. Because the whole operation... The whole plan that they got going on is going to implode on itself. It's it's all going to blow up on them. And I feel like you're actually going to pity this person. Because I feel like you used to be friends with this person. I feel like this is coming from someone close to you. Or someone you've seen as a friend. And, and this could be that same friend that always ends some drama. Or always trying to bring you into their drama. Clarify this for Libra. I almost said Virgo. You could be dealing with a, well with the Hermit card. <laughs> You could be dealing with a Virgo or an Aquarius. Clarify this for Libra. All right. Clarifying the Justice card is the Hermit card again. Yes, yeah, spirit is just like I said what I said. I said what I said. Keep to yourself. Go in hermit mode. Retreat from the situation or go inside. If they outside your house, don't go outside. Call the police. <laughs> like, just don't involve yourself. If you live with them, stay in your room. Don't engage with them. Don't be bothered by them. If you live around them, avoid them. Ignore them at all costs. Just don't feed into them. If you work with them, keep your head in the books. Focus on your work. If you go to school with them, you get the gist. You get the gist. Avoid this person. The hermit card is here twice. The hermit's all about being a hermit, keeping to yourself, focusing on your own inner guidance, learning from your own wisdom, your own self, using your own resources, focused on you. <laughs> that is the karma for this person. That is the justice. That is how you get justice in this situation. Yeah, four of swords, peace, blocking, healing, resting, keeping to yourself. That is how you get karma. I mean, that's how you get justice in this situation. Clarifying the hermit card is the seven of wands. So this is a very literal, straightforward reading. Seven of wands is all about protection and standing up for yourself and protecting yourself by being in hermit mode. Eight of cups walking away. This reading is being very redundant. So I feel like this needs to be repeated to you because this person is not just going to give up with one thing. This is going to be, this person is going to carry this drama out for um, either a few hours or a few days. No longer than three or four days. By the fourth day, this whole situation is going to implode on itself. Like I keep saying, <laughs> it's like this person is going to keep trying you. They're going to try to bring other people into it. They're going to try to amp up the fire and just keep doing your protection spells or taking baths or lighting incense or doing sage or whatever you do to keep the peace and take the edge off. <laughs> do it. Just focus on you. And I'm telling you, stay inside, stay indoors, or just keep and just keep yourself in solitude in some way, shape, or form. Do not engage in this. And because they're going to keep trying you. So keep, if you need to come back to this reading, just come back to this reading every time you get triggered by this person. Because they're not just going to give up off the first try. If you need to block them, block them, block their number, block them on social media. I think that is best for you to just stay away from them. They may even bring other people into it and they're not going to give up. I feel like the first three days are going to be the worst. The first two days, they're going to do, be doing the most. By day three, it's going to start to trickle off. By day four, they're just going to look crazy. Because I feel like this is going to last at least four days. But no, and then by the fourth day, the whole situation is going to blow up on them. And yet the magician, this is also Gemini and Virgo. So yeah, they're manifesting their own tower. And also by you not feeding into it, that's how the tower falls. All the lies and gossip and all that's about to be brought to the forefront. Truth comes out. They look stupid and they get um, exposed for being a manipulator. 
because this is some he say she say stuff and i, I don't want to say it but like gang stalking it's like they try to whip up this group or this cult or whatever and um they you try to get them to take you down and i think they just don't like you because and i think it has all to do with your sexuality or how attractive you are they don't they're jealous it comes from like with promiscuity this person may try to like because the person that they like may have said something about your appearance something nice about you or like it's coming out of jealousy either someone they like or someone they're dating or married to or with said something nice about you and that just sent this person off the rails it's like and it's funny because this is you here you're looking good right you're just really attractive you can't help that that's not your fault <laughs> And then this is them. I'm just saying. Or that's just how they look acting like this. Now, I ain't trying to come for nobody's physical appearance. But, like, when you act like that, I mean, that's the energy. <laughs> yeah, the king of swords. There you are. You could also be done with another air sign. I'm getting strong, Gemini, but it could be an Aquarius or another Libra. But I feel like... You command this tower to come by staying still, staying in solitude. I feel like it's an air sign. You got air sign running off at the mouth. It's because like, look at you. You're here. Again, you're you're still, you're at peace. You're, you're quiet. You're standing in your truth by just not feeding into it. And then this person outside making it rain, playing guitar, making all this noise, conjuring up all this stuff. And then, then boom. <laughs> Clarifying the five of wands is the nine of pentacles. Oh, yeah, they don't like that you're independent. They want you to need them. They want you to be in the group, but you don't need to be in this group. Because it's like, they're in like this friend group and it's kind of codependent because they all depend on each other and they all like, none of them are helping each other grow. They all stay in that same circle, that same cycle, that same drama. They all do the same stuff repeatedly. They all mess with the same people, go through the same stuff, do the same thing, and they all rely and depend on each other. But because you're not kissing ass and you don't need them, they want to fight you. They're jealous of you because you like to keep to yourself. Page of Swords. They stalk your social media. This is definitely gang stalking. Over energy is the King of Pentacles. Definitely an earth sign, not a cups. I knew it. And it's all because somebody like you or someone finds you attractive or some, and it's not your fault. They're mad at you over something someone else did because someone else found you attractive. And this whole group don't like you now. And you're the nine of Pentacles. Single, solid, stable, abundant, comfortable. You just look good. It's, it's the fact that you take care of yourself financially um, you take care of your appearance. You're just really independent and you keep to yourself and they're offended by that. They're like, well, why are you not out here ghetto and ratchet like us? <laughs> okay, yeah, there's nothing wrong with being ghetto, but ratchet is not it. <laughs> why are you not out here ratchet like us? A hot mess like us. Staying in drama and hating on each other like us. Gossiping like us, okay? It's like, they're the five of wands. They some chicken heads, <laughs> And then you're the nine of pentacles. That doesn't mix. They, they're some haters. It's like you're the new girl or new guy in school. And everybody's saying nice things about you or the most popular person or the cutest person is like, ooh, they're cute. And now they all hate you. I'm getting that type of scenario. All because someone finds you attractive. Or it could be a few people find you attractive. And now they're trying to take you down. Don't feed into it because I feel like they're going to do it on social media. They're going to start a smear campaign or whatever. It ain't going to last more than four days. And then this person is going to be exposed as a manipulative, controlling POS. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is in the description box below. If you'd like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, a link for that is below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love, Libra. Namaste.